What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on Polygon Matic. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this uh, token. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you that uh, we have uh, this range of uh, resistance uh, that potentially might hold. And it is the price point of $1.73. And also we have this support line. And these two lines form some kind of ascending triangle that usually breaks to the upside. But my concern was that uh, we don't have enough volume to confirm this movement to the upside. And uh, definitely with the breakout above uh, this uh, resistance, we become more bullish. But we broke this uh, support line and we had first touch right here, had the bounce, but then eventually we broke it to the downside. And for now we are still hovering in the middle of nowhere, because for now every breakdown of uh, this movement will be forced breakdown. And we have to wait until the market reveals itself and until we will have uh, some kind of breakouts. And what are the key levels I will show you in my technical analysis. And for now let's continue with the fundamental news. First of all let's start with the total market cap for entire crypto market. We have uh, 1.75 trillion dollars of total market cap and it is a 4.36% increase over the last day. And uh, all major cryptocurrencies are in green. Bitcoin is up uh, for 4%, Ethereum has 7.7% uh, gains and uh, BNB has 2.7%. Uh, and on a 7 days period, Bitcoin uh, has almost 6%, Ethereum uh, gained almost 12.5% uh, and uh, BNB almost 4% in its value. So, I think uh, it is quite good movements, but still we have to be cautious, because overall the volume for these movements are not so significant and that's why we have to be cautious. So let's continue with the Polygon numbers. For now it has a 12.2 billion dollars of total market cap. It is a 5.67% increase over the last day and the volume during the last 24 hours is 839.79 million dollars. It is lower than it was previously for about 5.1%. So we still have a lower volume on the movement to the upside and definitely it is not the best sign. But keep in mind that we are still on a greater scale, we are still in consolidation phase because we consolidate in this movement to the downside. So let me show you some news that might affect the price of this token. We are on Cointelegraph.com, YouTube head of gaming Ryan White to resign and join Polygon Studios as CEO. And let me quote you this. YouTube's head of gaming Ryan Watt announced uh, on Tuesday that he will be leaving the firm in February to pursue his passion for blockchain and Web3 development. White has uh, lined up a role as CEO of Polygon Studios, the gaming and NFT arm of the Layer 2 Ethereum scale network. Polygon reportedly has plans to support its subsidiary studio with $100 million worth of uh, funding towards Web3 and NFT gaming projects. I will be focusing on growing the developer ecosystem uh, through investment, marketing and developer support and uh, bridging the gap between Web 2.0 and 3.0, what said. I will be leading the Polygon Studios organization across gaming, entertainment, fashion, news, sports and more. And definitely this news uh, is very bullish because uh, Polygon shows uh, its uh, intention to develop uh, this sector of uh, their activity. And uh, definitely it is a booming sector right now because uh, NFT and gaming have the highest number of uh, the users growth. So, and that's why in my opinion, in the long run, this news might affect uh, the fundamentals of Polygon network and definitely it will affect the price of its native token. 
So basically we don't have uh, any more news related to Matic and uh, definitely for now everything is related on the total sentiment uh, of the crypto market. And for now we have uh, some bearish pressure, we still have some bearish pressure from US regulators and uh, let me show you this article. It was published on January 31st and it says Bitcoin, US regulatory threat reminds for crypto assets. Congress uh, contemplates a dollar stature. And uh, let me quote you just uh, main bullets of uh, the summary. The SEC under Chair Gary Gensler has taken direct regulatory action against new crypto asset products. Gensler hired a former banking and fintech uh, staffer of crypto critical lawmakers, Sherrod Brown and uh, Maxine Waters to advise on crypto industry oversight. Chairs of the main money and banking committees of Congress have expressed views that crypto assets threaten the US dollar and that blockchain technology will not enable an inclusive economy. So this means uh, we are still experiencing the bearish pressure on crypto markets and that's why uh, let me show you the price section of Bitcoin. As you can see right here, this movement to the upside doesn't have a good structure and definitely it might be just a retracement from this top to this bottom. And uh, in this case, uh, if we won't break higher targets, we will uh, invalidate this movement to the upside and we will have a rollover. And if we will have this rollover with Bitcoin, all other cryptocurrencies uh, will plummet. So, and uh, let's continue with uh, Matic technical analysis, uh, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button, this helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next? In my opinion, it is quite difficult to make any assumptions uh, what type of breakdown we have right here. Definitely we broke uh, this support line and we don't need it anymore. And for now we have uh, this range as our range of resistance, uh, definitely it's it is still the same at the price point of $1.73. And we have uh, this range of uh, potential support line uh, right here at uh, around $1.5 to maybe slightly above $1.52. And uh, if we break it to the downside, it will be first negative sign. And for now we have uh, not more than uh, six, uh, not more than 7% to this uh, range of support and not more than 6.8% uh, uh, to this resistance. And definitely if we will have uh, this uh, breakout uh, below this range with the conviction of volume, this will be a sign that we might have a trend continuation. And I have to say that for now I'm more bearish than bullish because we have to complete the entire structure of root retracement. From this top we have to form the ABC correction and depending on these tops and uh, I covered it in my previous video we have to complete our C wave at this point where we were on uh, the January 24th or we might have one more leg to the downside. And I have to say that I still stand on my position that uh, most likely we will have uh, next leg to the downside and we might land at one dollar price point because it is a crucial level of support for Polygon. And from this point we might have uh, a huge bounce uh, to the upside and in this case we will be able to benefit from this movement. So I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!